I think I, think I say it every time, but it's uh, it's been a busy, busy time for the school since we came back from our term. Not least all because we had a visit from our uh, from our employers, our new employers. Yeah, it, it's been a really busy week this week. Um, yeah, we we annually we 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 um, we have a kind of review, if you like, um, at trust level where they just come in and 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 check that what we're doing is 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 okay. Um, uh, you know, on the whole, it's a really positive experience. They found all the things I hoped they'd find around the behaviour and the quality of the relationships and the culture and the personal development. Um, sixth form, loads and loads of positives. Um, and and you know what? They've come in and kind of told us what we already know in terms of where we're at. So they've given us a few things to work on. They've given us loads of ticks in loads of boxes. Um, but what it enables us to do, I think, it, it, we think we know our school. It's just nice to have a bit of external verification that, that, that in this case is just back, back to where we are. Uh, and we put a plan together as a result of it and it won't change things massively but there'll be a few tweaks we have to do to the way we do things and then and then we move on so um it makes it, it's a tough week for staff because they they feel the pressure of it every now and again to keep us honest and make sure that um you, you, as a head teacher sometimes sometimes it's difficult to be objective because you live and breathe it every day so i guess the biggest benefit for me is just having somebody else from outside coming in and, and just testing my what i'm thinking um, and on the whole, I, I am really confident we'll come out of it even better. So. And the nice thing about it is that it's all directed at improving the, the, the lot of the students. Yeah, it, it, it all comes down to the students and, and none of us are, are in it or none of us should be in it for any other reason than, than as I always say, changing the life chances mm. of our young people and serving our community. And if it makes us do that a bit better, then great. And following that, we had a, a, another interrupted week, as it were, because there was a, a strike where some members of our staff um, down tools for, for the day. Um, but, that, that, but that went OK. Yeah, I think we had 17 members of the NEU out this time. Um, we, we were quite cautious because I, I think it's important that we, we support our colleagues that are striking. I think that, that's important to me. Um, but we had, you know, we still managed, uh, as well as supporting the colleagues and not doing anything that, that, that would undermine the strike, um, we still managed to bring the year 11s in. I think we had something like 95% attendance, which was phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, and it was an opportunity for them to finish off the, doing the mock exams, the PPEs that they're doing. So we, you kind of have to turn it into a win-win without being disrespectful in any way. Brilliant. And I know you uh, you spent uh, an evening this week uh, with our rock school students, our year 13s, uh, as part of their final assessment. They put on a concert. What was that like? Wow. Um, I mean, there weren't many there, which was the sad thing. It was generally speaking, their parents, it's their final assessment piece. But these students have gone through seven years of Lipson and, and they've had such an impact on the quality of music. You know, the music department talk about this model, this emulative model where the older students feed down. In. Wow, the, the standard was unbelievable. Um, so there weren't many of them. Um, but the quality of the pieces that they put together, and they they put the whole performance on. They structure it. They decide what what what's going to be used. Um, and I think it goes. I think it counts for a third of their final exam. Okay. Um, let's just say I'd be pretty confident about about the music results in the sixth form, having seen the third that I saw. It right. was it was you know fabulous, and a nice testament to those students because they've contributed a lot to the school over the years as well. And of course, I mean, it goes without saying, doesn't it? I think, well, maybe it doesn't, but um, there's a big emphasis on music all throughout the years at Lipson. Yeah, we've got we've got quite a creative and a, a innovative model, really. And music's always been a, a big thing, and as a, it, it predates me, but we've we've managed to maintain it. We've got a music academy. We have a music tutor group, and these youngsters are in a quarter past eight every day. Mm -hmm. I did an assembly this week on on highlighting some talents and, and talked about the kind of 10,000 hours of practice, you know, theory. And um, the, 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 the quality of music doesn't happen by accident. It, it, it happens because they're practicing day in, day out. And it's a really good model, yeah. Well, not, not a good model. We've got is the drama department. So it's got like shifting to them next week. They've got yeah. their National Theatre Connections play. Are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, I am looking forward to it. And it's a chance, it's a chance for the drama to, to kind of come out of the shadow of music a little bit. It's, it is their chance to shine. Um, we're trying to create a model for drama that replicates a successful model in music. Um, it's really ambitious, uh, and I am looking forward to it, and I think the students will do us proud. I'm sure they will. Thank you very, very much. much.